How old is Dakota? Dakota's like how old now she's she's six now. She's six. Mm. <laughs> I've never how? seen a six-year-old this <laughs> well. Yeah. How doing special effects horror makeup like this? Like she's good. Like <laughs> thank you. No, she is excellent. She is, yeah. She is yeah. Excellent. As you see, listen, I, I I'm gonna promote my kids regardless. <laughs> Anywhere I go, I'm always going to promote my kids. I want people to know the talent that my kids have because Dakota's talent basically started with her painting my whole kitchen mm -hmm. while I was washing clothes. I came back and my whole kitchen and Dylan and my dog were all painted. <laughs> <laughs> and Mind you, oh, nothing I got went, missed. <laughs> I only went to the basement. The basement was literally like right down. So I only went to the basement. I came back up. I have washable paint. So luckily it was, you know, all, it was all good, but mm -hmm. that's how it all started with her. I didn't get mad. I didn't flip out. A lot of people were on my TikTok saying, oh, she deserves a whooping. She's too old. At the time, Dakota was three. So I'm mm -hmm. like, you know, you want me to whoop a three-year-old for yeah. playing in paint and, and doing what a child is supposed to do? No, right. what they seen as something bad, I seen it as, mm -hmm. okay, you got this color over here and this color over here and you mixed it perfectly to make this. Kids your age don't know things like that. Right. She, mm -hmm. She's been here before. That's that's what, it's all that's, the old, that's what the old Southern instinct. granny said. She been here. I ask her, I ask her that all the time. Like, okay, who were you in your past life? Because you're too good at what you do. <laughs> and she started laughing when you ask her. She does. She does. <laughs> she does. And that's the crazy part. Cause I'm like, all right, you know, I believe in reincarnation and everything like that. So who were you? Just tell me who you were, you know, so we can get this ball rolling and, and figure out how we're going to do this thing. You know, right. don't, don't keep me in the dark, but that it all started as a joke. I put Dakota's, she, we were watching the dark night. She, we were watching the dark night. I just came back from basic training and mm -hmm. we were watching the dark night. She seen Heath Ledger's Joker, mm. rest in peace. She seen his Joker and was like, oh, I can do that. I looked at her and was like, what? Dismissed her. You know, I'm watching the movie. She was like, no, I, I can really do that. Okay, you can. All right, stop the movie. We went to Party City. I went and got her some paint. I'm thinking, okay, I'm going to set you up in the bathroom. This is going to be a hilarious TikTok. Mm -hmm. At the time, Dakota was still a part of the Snack Bandit. So her and Dylan were doing combined, you know, videos and, and snacks and still and stuff. So I'm like, okay. I set her up, had her, gave her a stool, set her up with all the makeup and everything. And she took her tablet in the, in the bathroom with her and she wouldn't let me stay in there though. So I'm like, okay, well, I need to, I want to watch. She like, no, I need you to go. So I would come back and forth and check on her. And when the last one I checked on her, it was so well put together. And I'm like, mm, it's no way. You know, Joker is easy. It's easy. It's just white face paint with a smile with some, you know, black, you know, eyeshadow. That's easy to me. But then she said, okay, I want to do Pennywise. And I'm looking like, mm. I'm sorry, how did she know about Pennywise? Is he okay? <laughs> well, I'm a Pennywise. I'm a Pennywise Look at fan. Her daddy. High five for that. It's all on her daddy. <laughs> I'm a Pennywise fan. So not I was you like, creating your own monster. Right. Okay, you know, she night. She, people think like you know. Oh, she's so she. She has to be disturbed to be doing this stuff. No, Dakota is by far the sweetest little girl. She's a tree hugger. She's super sensitive to everything, but she is so creative. She's very creative. So when she did Pennywise, I was like, okay, we got something here. Mm. We got something, and mm. so that is when. I gave her the nickname Paint with Dakota. I started to market everything that she did. Any and everything, you're gonna make money off of anything that you do. And so she started to watch TikTok a lot. And the first artist that she learned how to do everything from was this girl named Alexis. And she goes by Made You Look. That's her billboard in New York City. Whoa. Shut the hell up. What did that get put up? Where was that? That is right? phenomenal. That is, that is, that is phenomenal. Wow. This kid is dangerous. She is yeah, dangerous. She's, she's been on Steve Harvey. She's been on People, Access Hollywood, um, Entertainment Tonight. We were supposed hey. to go to Tamron Hall, but um, our flight had got canceled oh, because we had it. a hurricane down here. 
But okay. that was she did all that all that work right there that you see. She did that when she was three. Shut wow. up. We went on a Steve Harvey show when she was four. That was her latest look that she just did on my 16 year old. She just did that like two days ago. No. My gosh. Listen, I'm a Silent Hill fan, so that was just my goodness. Wow. Wow. Like she she my she mind. loves this stuff. And so I was like, you know. I don't never want to bury her creativity. I don't never want to stop her from doing what she did. Which, if you could, because if you could show on my Instagram, it was a picture where I took, where it was me and my two other daughters and we were dressed as zombies because Dakota did our makeup. And we were going to go film some behind the scenes stuff for um, the show. So I think like that took us like getting all of us done it took her like at least seven or eight hours to get all of it done. Mm. And there's, a, there's a current short, and I've seen it, The Spirit of Halloween, which, by the way, love Spirit of Halloween. Shout out to Spirit mm -hmm. of Halloween. <laughs> Just, it's it's literally like a treasure trove of stuff. And she dressed as, she dressed as the nun. Was it, was it the nun? No. Yeah. She did yeah, both. She was the nun she and Pennywise. Yeah. yeah. And she was scaring kids at mm. the displays because they thought it was just the display. She was scaring old people. Wow. <laughs> Dakota don't care. If you come, if if I give her the okay to scare people, so when we did the spirit Halloween <laughs> thing, like that me. was just like, that was like her meet and greet. So people came, they, they didn't know she was in the store, but they knew she was in the store. They didn't mm. know where she was or what she was. They thought that she was going to be like a normal kid, you know, <laughs> around and doing stuff. I got in touch with the um, the general manager of that spirit and was like, hey, you know, let her sit here and let she she's all done up. Put her in this this little coffin thing and let her do her thing. Like the things that Dakota wants to do, like we we supposed to go back this weekend and I can't <laughs> tell y'all what she wants to do, but it's freaking scary as crap. And <laughs> so I'm like, yo. So uh, again, yo, 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 wonderfully multi-talented daughter at six years old. Wow, I I'm just like, I'm looking at my son like, look, by the time you turn one, I there's a six-year-old out here. You better, you better build the next water running engine for all I care. <laughs> Listen, it's it's. As parents, right, it's our job to nurture our kids. Right, right. Our kids will always show us what they want to do. Yeah. As parents, especially in the black community, we don't really listen and we don't really see as much because we want them to have, we kind of push our goals on them. Like we want you to be successful in this, do this, do that to the third. We kind of try to map their future for them. Mm -hmm. But I was like, you know what? Cause I had that done to me. I'm like, my mom, I'm smart. She thought I was gonna be a doctor. I am not. I am in the military. <laughs> so, like, I, I, can walk from, that. I completely went left and she, I stay, I did not stay on the course, but with Dakota and Dylan, Dylan now she's transitioning and it's crazy because I'm a fan of my kids. So mm -hmm. I see Dylan's transition from her stealing snacks to Dylan, if Dylan can cry on cue, Dylan knows emotions. Uh oh. And it's so crazy because I can't, I I don't know when she's lying. Uh -oh. So Ooh. I have to go in dad mode in order to figure out, okay, Dylan, what happened? And then she'll tell me the truth once she sees that I'm serious. And it's scary. Cause I'm like, yo, you're you're three and you can express emotion and lie in a good way. That's scary. Get her an agent. So. <laughs> right. Dylan has an agent and Dakota has it. So they're both for two different agencies. Um, so I, I I established that. Like when Dylan, um, Dylan's with this company called Echo Management. So they reached out to us um two years ago. And we've been we've been with them for the last, like I said, the last two years, going on three. And then Dakota just got signed to an agency based out in Atlanta. Um so it's 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 a lot because like i said i am active duty i'm a father of five i'm a husband 
Then I'm doing, you know, the TV series and working with Kevin and, and, and Dion and it's a lot. And then doing all the behind the scenes stuff. It's a lot, but I love it. And so does my kid. That's dope. I love the fact that one, you're showing, you're just one other case of a father, of a blurred father mm-hmm. being involved with his children and, and showing them without stealing the Mandalore's thing and being meaning it on purpose but showing them the way you're showing them the way mm-hmm. on is that next generation <clears throat> it's just something a lot of us didn't really get we were all exposed to nerd them in different ways mm-hmm. but i'm seeing this generation of of parents who are like really fostering yes like mm-hmm. it's okay to cosplay it's okay to do this art it's okay to create these these tools it's okay in in dakota's case jesus christ uh, it's like it's okay <laughs> to paint on the kitchen wall show and, turn out, really and show up that. in Times Square. It's okay. It was but like the crazy thing about it is like I knew I never knew like it was like you know blurred or anything like that. I didn't know I was a computer <laughs> geek. I can take apart a computer and put it together. I can do all that stuff. I'm I'm IT savvy, like really IT savvy. I was not into stuff like this until Dakota really started to show me stuff like this. Mm-hmm. Like I would watch cartoons and I would watch stuff. I would never cost. I've never been to a convention. I've, I've been to makeup huh? artist conventions because of Dakota, <laughs> but I've never been to a convention. Sir, sir, you know, them, them kids tickets are real cheap. Um, I, I highly recommend um, you, you parade little miss around. Once or twice, and just have her. I don't know. Oh, she's charge steal people the show. to make up faces, like <laughs> just set up oh, a schedule at a booth. If she, she, she goes, if she goes, I any implore person, you. Take off. Some yeah, food. yeah. See, like, that's the I, thing. I, we, she she makes, works her, like bro. when work we on. have to go to L.A. We're going to L.A. Um, in January, January twentieth through the twenty first. We're supposed to be in L.A. because she is going to be a part of what is called the International Makeup yes. Artist Trade Show. Ooh. Yes, bring, bring her to Dragon Con. Please bring her So to that Dragon. was supposed to be a thing, but when we when I spoke to the, the people for Dragon Con, it was sold out. It yeah. was sold out, so we couldn't get it. Out. I didn't know you have to... For things like this, this, I didn't know that. For things like this, you got to get tickets like the year in advance, and I'm like, whoa. For Dragon um, Con? So when it was... No, I'm sorry. It was SDCC. That one was that one was super yeah. packed, and then like Dragon Con, like I think I caught it like because I didn't know nothing about it. I didn't, so I found out about it like a week before it was supposed to happen, thinking I can get tickets for it. Mm-hmm. I didn't know. No. Mm-hmm. Stick so, with us, kid. Yeah, we'll we'll it's, it's, Stick there's, with us. There's planning. <laughs> there's planning involved. Stick with us, kid. We're right. back. Don't worry. Listen, I'm I, I'm I'm all for it because like, where I'm at right now, I'm in I'm in I'm in Savannah, so. There's they had a Savannah con that was down here, but it happened around a time that me and Dakota were supposed to fly out for uh, a TV show, so we couldn't do it. It was like, okay, which one are you gonna do? You gonna you want to go do this or do you want to go be on TV? She, I'm going on TV. Okay, well, <laughs> cool. We gonna go on TV. So it was. It, it, she likes to do dress. She likes dressing up. Dakota has partnership with a costume company. Um, that I can't say because of NDA reasons, but right. she has a partnership with um, costume company. We call that, it Negro. We call it Negro. Don't ask. Yeah, um, I was about right. to say. I was about to say it. Chris made me do it. I'm about to say. That's right. Like, right. They send her costumes all the time, and it's like, okay, Dakota's garage is. It was supposed to be my man cave. I made it into her makeup studio. So she brings clients in here. She does work and everything like that. And I'm like, I, I literally decked it out. I have her awards in here. I made her whole wall um, with all her accomplishments and all her paintings that she's done. I went to Walmart, put them all in frames. So it's like, I'm going to always support my kids. Dylan, she wants to act. Okay, well, I'm going to find you an acting coach. I'm going to see what it is because Dakota didn't really have that. Dakota self taught. Nobody taught her mm-hmm. anything. She watched videos on YouTube and TikTok and went from there. With acting, it's a little different. I know I'm going to have to get Dylan an acting coach if 
she's good, then I might not have to save me some money. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure, you know, it, it all come down to me having to do that for her. And so, oh, go ahead, go ahead. I mean, no, no, go ahead. Well, uh, honestly, says, look, look into the makeup show. It's yes. geared towards toward towards education, and a lot of huge industry makeup artists are there. Yes. Yeah. So Dakota, we go every year. This would be her third year going, and she's supposed to have a booth this year. So I'm talking to the owner um, who puts the iMac together. He his name is Michael K. He he flew us out the very first year that we went. <laughs> he flew us to L.A. and Dakota got to experience and meet some of the best makeup artists in the world. Yeah. I she, mean, Michael K. by itself is a name. Yeah. Right. I don't, right. I'm not even into makeup like that. I promise you. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Listen, when he, he flew us out and I was like, you know, I had to Google and do research on all these people. And I'm like, you know, this is crazy. Like, we're just, we're from Buffalo, New York. So it was like, you know, I come from a small hey. city. Hey. Oh, <laughs> I come from One a way small to keep city where everybody in know everybody. <laughs> and... You know, going to something like this and having my daughter expand her horizon. And now Dakota is at a point where the judge from Face Off, V. Neal, knows my daughter. Yes! People from <laughs> The Walking Dead, makeup artists, know my daughter. The people from American Horror Story know my daughter. Angela Bassett makeup artist knows my daughter Ooh, and golly. to see Damn. people in that aspect know a six-year-old mm. and say we're just waiting for her to be of age because of union union um rights and stuff like that we're just waiting for her to be of age so she can come work with us Mm, but I told them, so. I told them I do that one better. <laughs> I told them, and, and I'm, a, I'm a firm believer in my kid. I told him, I said, I'll do y'all one better. Y'all gonna come work with her. Hey, that's what I was gonna that, Yes. That. I was gonna say, I know, I figured that's what you were gonna do and you didn't, yeah. you did disappoint me. Yeah. That's what's Mike better, says, I'm never, that. I'm never gonna sell my kid short. Love, uh, Mike said, Mike Travis says he loves that your journey is so affected by theirs and you are so willing to learn about their passion, skills mm -hmm. to best support them. And yeah. that's 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 that that's drive. Yeah. yeah. That's Nowadays, that drive. we're seeing a lot of talented young people who are having their talent squashed mm -hmm. because no one's willing to let them shine. Just mm -hmm. just be patient. See where it goes. If If they have a passion for something. And you're more worried about how you look in the public eye, then th there's a problem. There's going to be a disconnect. You so you're going to wonder why your child grows up a certain way. Well, what happened to him when he was, well, he told you what he wanted to do, but Ooh. that wasn't according to your agenda. So I applaud you for doing this, my man. I, as, as a father, I definitely applaud you. For that. Definitely.